Hello and welcome to episode 9 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about some wrestling. Yes, the road to SummerSlam has ended. <laughs> I guess. I, that, Here we go again. That, You're going to say something, no, just say it. No, the road stuff is really stupid. <laughs> That's really what it is. That's all I wanted to say. All right. Um, anyway. Well, SummerSlam is Sunday. Is mm-hmm. that better? It is true. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it, they made it very clear that that, that was the case. Why, that it's <laughs> Sunday? Well, no, that like both shows were pretty much just like blatant promotions for the for the um for the pay-per-view oh absolutely well yes that is kind of what they're going for but it seemed a little over the top at least in raw's case oh i thought smackdown just didn't even need to happen like it wasn't a bad show but there was really nothing noteworthy that happened it's true but at least daniel bryan and miz stuff was fantastic yeah but it's you know don't really care that feud didn't really need any build to it it was just that Fair. it was actually going to happen mm-hmm. i mean so, they actually accidentally did a good job yeah but i mean there was a a handful of feuds i would say that they did all right with like the joe and aj yeah because that they didn't, didn't have much. any in-ring interaction in, yeah all. exactly Ex- and well that's not true oh but- Joe attacked him. Okay, there was no, all right, you guys are going to be in a tag match. Oh, yes, You're going to do true. this. Yes, they did not do that, finally. No. Yes. I, I mean... I don't, I don't think that would have really worked with Joe. I feel like that that's not his thing. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because, so. I mean, I mean, the same could be said with uh, Roman and Lesnar, but we've that's been beaten into the ground, so... Yeah, they do the same exact thing every single mm-hmm. time, so at this point, it's kind of just like a waste of time. Yeah. Um, so, what'd you think about Ronda Rousey coming out and doing the, um, I guess, in memory of Anvil, Jim, the Anvil Nightheart? Uh, it wasn't bad. It was a nice thing they did. Do you think this is something that she wanted to do, or do you think this was forced upon her to do? One million percent, this was what she wanted to do. They probably told her that you're going to start the show right and she probably said all right but i'm doing this first that's probably yeah because it was weird we didn't even see anything at the beginning of the show for it well it's because they you know they talked about it at the beginning of the show right right but usually they still have a picture or something well you got to remember they actually did more than they do normally oh yeah because we got the video later Mm -hmm. on in the show normally they just make passing mention yeah this got an actual like video package and everything yeah so but yeah, very sad. Mm. Um, it's true. The last remaining member of the Hart Foundation is now Bret Hart. It's crazy. Bulldog, Pillman, Owen, now the Anvil. Mm-hmm. Very sad. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, it was going to be a weird transition, regardless, going from you know something like this to the business aspect of it. It's true. Michael so. Cole's really good at doing that, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, speaking of commentary, we had Renee on for the entire evening. Yes, the first the time first... ever, women uh, or a woman commentated in a full episode of Raw. Yeah, I guess they made point of like emphasizing. Oh, it that. was yeah. <clears throat> that that was bigger than the entire Evolution pay per view. That's going to happen pretty much. Hey, in all fairness, technically it is. Because Renee, Renee, Renee Young's a lot better than Coach or Booker oh, T. God. So. She's so bad. He could just get rid of him and have two people, and it would have been fine. But uh, that Renee, also would have Renee worked. did very well. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't have to. Because usually, I mean, I watch the show, and you I kind of. just have to shake your head. Well, yeah, th- there's that. But I usually can tune out of commentary if it's fine and mm-hmm. there's no problems. But usually, Coach yeah. says something stupid or mm-hmm. Booker T, as you said. But yep. with Renee, it seemed to flow pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um because I guess originally the first match was supposed to be Natalia versus Bliss, right? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm assuming that that's what was supposed yeah. to happen. So Ember Moon was in Natalia's place. Uh, Alicia Fox came out with Bliss, and Ronda Rousey was on with at ringside for Ember Moon, which apparently, I guess, a bat flew in the arena. Because there was a bat flying around Ronda Rousey, apparently, and she oh. was kind of like, Oh my God! There's a bat in here, or something like that. I saw some some video online about it. Huh. Yeah. 
Um, the ending of the match was not pretty. No. Well, it's. But was it Alicia just kind of like ax- or went to grab at her leg and then? Yeah, because I guess Ember hit the eclipse, uh, the eclipse yeah. and she was pinning Alexa. And like you said, um, Alicia Fox was supposed to break it up. And but, she missed. Yeah, and she kind of like touched her leg, ring. and then all of a sudden, like Ember lifted her body, and I guess Alexa kicked out kind of at the same time. Yeah, so. it was not pretty. Yeah, and then we got the DQ finish, mm-hmm. and then Ronda beat the crap out of Alicia Fox. Oh, and before the match, she beat the crap out of four grown. Oh men. yes, yes, because Alexa had personal security. Thank you, to, or thanks to Baron Corbin. Yep, Constable Baron Corbin. Mm-hmm. Speaking of him. He beat Tyler Breeze. Yeah, I'm very proud of him. Um, With the Deep Six. The Deep Six, yes. Yeah, which was a little surprising. This was probably his first match he's ever finished with that move. Uh, I would imagine so. Most people don't uh, win with their mm-hmm. signature moves anymore. No. He got so. extra hang time on it, though, with the lighter well, guys. He, he does <laughs> do that quite a bit, though. Mm-hmm. Whenever he can, I guess. Yeah. So you were watching the Hulu version, and I yes. watched the unfortunate three-hour show. Mm-hmm. Seems like you got the uh, better end of the deal there. Uh, 100% of the time, that's usually how it goes. Yeah. I mean, there's really nothing. I mean, I'm sure they... Was there any video clips, like, hyping up the show, like SummerSlam and stuff yeah, like that? They still was, had that in there? There was many of them, because they <clears throat> Did they do the picture during and, matches. Yeah, the picture-in-picture picture yeah. thing, yeah. So it, I saw all of them because they happened during matches. So right. It's not like they were separate commercials or anything. So, but. Yeah. But still, I mean, looking at your notes, I mean, like I said, you missed two matches and they were matches not, that didn't even need to happen. Yeah, it's true. It was what uh, you said, uh, Titus Worldwide and Bobby, Bobby Roode. Roode against Elias. No, no, no. Oh, Authors of Pain uh, Authors and, of Pain Mojo. and Mojo. Mojo, okay. And right. that ended with Bobby Roode hitting a glorious DDT on Mojo. Yeah. And then there was a segment with um, Bobby Lashley and Elias, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Uh, For no reason, because that match didn't get... There's no match between them, right? I, I think, think Elias so. is doing a, just a... Um, not a concert, but some sort of live... Yeah, that thing. I don't see anything. Uh, There's nothing here. Yeah. So, whatever. Yeah. It's just yeah. to fill time. They, Pretty it's much. Like we, we paid Bobby Lashley all this money. We got to have him do something. Yeah, I mean. It's probably what it is. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they were thinking. They don't know what the hell they were I, thinking. I still feel like the the plan was to have him face Brock after oh, he lost the Universal title. That made the most sense in the world. Mm-hmm. And then they had to go and ruin it. Uh, I mean, we, we can't say yes just yet. We'll have to wait till SummerSlam to see what happens. No, I meant they ruined it by not having Roman Wayne at WrestleMania. Oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were talking about the whole Bobby Lashley Lesnar thing because that could still happen technically. Oh, it could. Uh, I, yeah, that that's not likely, but it could. Hey, never say never in wrestling. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, but yeah, not, yeah, really not. I mean, we got a we tag had, team title match. Yes, with the triple threat match. Yeah, the one that the B team wasn't allowed to participate in. Pretty much. It was so funny. They just kept on tagging each other back and forth, and the two and Alex, uh, Alex, Axel and Dallas were just sitting there like, when's our turn? <laughs> um, I cringed a little when Matt Hardy suplexed. Who was it? Curtis Axel. I was not expecting. Oh, no, no, that. that was Scott Dawson. Yeah, right? it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not expecting that. I was like, this man is broken. Why does he keep doing it? Mm-hmm. And then again, the same thing was said when we heard all those things about Sheamus and he's landing on his neck and all this other crap. And I'm like, oh god. Yep. This poor man. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the B team ends up getting a victory after. The Revival hit a Shatter Machine on Bray, right? Yeah. And then uh, they push him out of the ring. Uh, Dallas had made himself the legal man. Right. And he knocked the Revival out of the ring and then mm-hmm. stole the win. Yeah. Yeah. So we technically learned nothing from this. No, well, <laughs> they did make the tag team title match set for the pre-show on yeah. SummerSlam, the I, Revival and the B team, because I, the Revival didn't get pinned. I guess this was one way to legitimately take Matt and Bray out of the title picture. Yeah. Well, I guess Matt's going to get some sort of treatment or something like that. Who knows? I don't know. That was what the rumor was. So. 
But yeah, that that should be a uh, a match on the pre-show at the very least. Yeah. Maybe not a great one, but a match. No, I mean, the Revival should really win the tag titles, but ah. it doesn't matter. You could honestly just hand the tag team titles over every week to a new team on Raw, and it wouldn't matter. It's true. No one really cares. No one cares. Um, and we had the Roman Heyman segment. What did you think about that? Uh, I thought it was really good until the end with the pepper spray. Well, I thought they could have dragged this out. He could have just handed him the note and then just left it at that, and we didn't know what Roman's decision was going to be. And exactly. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just lasted too long. <clears throat> and then Brock coming out at the end kind of didn't really need to happen. Well, we got to see Brock two weeks in a row. Right? Wasn't he there last who, week or was the week before? It was last week, but yeah. who cares? But, but it's a big deal. It's not, though. He's probably like, oh, I, I, I'm going to be here this week instead of the Monday after SummerSlam. So, sorry, guys. It's fine. Don't care. Why? You want to see him live. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes. Anyway. So what do you think we're going to experience Monday? A lot of booze. Yeah? A lot of booze. Except <laughs> for me. I'm going to be cheering. <laughs> big dog. Big dog. Big dog. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, there's. I still think there's a good chance that Lesnar will retain. Okay. <laughs> you don't think so? No, I do too. <laughs> but you need to think positive thoughts. <clears throat> I got a positive thought. I'll just fucking turn the TV off on Monday. <laughs> I mean, granted, we're going to be at I Raw, was going to but... say, that's kind of not going to work. We're Why won't the go. screen turn off? It's not working. <laughs> I was actually going to sell the tickets before. So I was like, hmm, do I really want to go to this? But then I figure it's after SummerSlam. It should be a pretty big show. Yeah, usually the shows directly after big pay-per-views are pretty good. Yeah. Or at least some stuff happens. Yeah. However, I've heard terrible things about watching an event at the Barclays Center. I have no idea. Yeah, apparently the seating is very small. and That I had heard. And I guess Cramped. constructed views mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. That was the biggest criticism when they so opened the it, only sport it's meant to be watched is basketball right or is it even bad then because i know hockey I, I think it's bad with basketball as well uh what are you gonna do not go well like, not pay for tickets oh we didn't so you know. that's what i mean yeah otherwise i wouldn't have gone yeah. but hey whatever mm -hmm. um then we got to see the return of dean ambrose yeah he looks good he it's funny for a while, Dean. Well, let me rephrase that. When Dean first came up with the three of them, mm -hmm. he was pretty solid. Yeah. And then he got super thin. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you look at those pictures when he, uh, before he got injured, when he was wearing the elbow brace or whatever, I was like, holy crap, he looked a lot smaller than mm -hmm. he does now. Even when the first brand split, or when the brand split first happened mm -hmm. and he was feuding with AJ, he was super thin then. And then he came back. He's all now. He's all muscular and everything. So yeah. he looked good. Yeah. And and the short hair suits him. Oh yeah. Well, like I said, to my friends out there losing your hair, just give in. <laughs> just give in. It's 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 not worth it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> not exactly what I was getting at, but it's it. Oh it come look. on. His he was just you know was literally he? grasping at, at well was strands he? of hair. Yeah. Oh, I, That's why he had his whole hair pushed down forward. Oh, I mean, yeah. It, I guess I really don't look into it that much. I guess not. Um, uh, but the adding Dean into this actually gives life to this feud. Well, yeah, I think this was the whole point po to begin with. To have a second match? <laughs> yeah. This way you yeah. can get um, Dean, and, Dean and Seth back together. Um, Seth wins the title back. After the match is over, Dean, Dean attacks, turns him. and then he, they feud over the top. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Um, and then Dolph Ziggler will go to a main event and hang out with his buddy Bobby Roode and Mojo Rawley. Mm -hmm. He'll end up in the same locker room as them. No, truth be told, that what I actually hope happens is that Drew is Roman's first feud, and Ziggler will play Yeah, um, the role that Drew did. He'll play cheerleader? Mm-hmm um yeah i mean that would be fine there's only that sense. that one other thing standing in the way what the guy with the briefcase that's true but it'd be funny if well 
if they like hold off a while, because there's really no reason to cash in this quick. No, 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 no. Unless I, I mean, I, I would, it, I would at least just give it a run. You know, if they're gonna put the title on Roman, mm-hmm. just just let it happen. Yeah, th- there's really no reason to have him lose it immediately. They seem to like to do that to him. <laughs> yeah. Because they've done it a couple times. Yeah, but then it just doesn't end well. No, not for anybody. No, because then it's just the cycle all over again. Mm-hmm. Got to go through the same crap. I guess they just like having over. Roman chase the belt. That that would make the most sense. I guess. I don't agree. Because he would probably make a halfway decent champion. Well, he'd at least be there. That's what he keeps telling us. <laughs> He's like, you might not want me here, but I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That was Raw. Mm hmm. Um, uh, the contract signing segments never, no, never no, anything no, no, good. No. I mean, the only one that in recent memory was decent was the Shinsuke AJ one that was backstage and kept yeah. quick. And that was it. Because mm-hmm. this was drawn out. Yeah. Well, it was just, you know, Dolph talking for a while. Mm hmm. Very much like when they were explaining what an Iron Man match is. <laughs> so, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. yeah. Does that mean we're moving on to the better show? Um, yeah. All right. The shorter show. Smack so. it down. So it is automatically better yep. most weeks. The the what is it? The um, the Daniel Bryan and uh, the Miz, Miz segments were yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the Miz. Got re-upped for a second season mm-hmm. after three episodes, but that's it's not not a real surprise due to the fact that the ratings were very good. Yeah, and I the show. Oh, the show is very. Yeah, I finally caught up on mm-hmm. the other episodes I missed. It was really good. Fantastic. Yep, good for them. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought the opening segment was decent though, with Paige. Oh uh, yeah, with, with well actually yeah. Charlotte, Becky, and Carmella. Yeah, it was a little strange to have the three of them come out to do a talking segment, though, at the very beginning. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess it could have been portrayed a little differently mm-hmm. as far as getting them out there rather than them just wandering out there and yeah. talking. It, it seemed a little forced, but yeah, whatever. Uh, inevitably, I think Carmella was saying how she beat both of them, blah, right, blah, right. blah. Paige well, she com- was trying to turn Becky against yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then Paige comes out and... Yeah, makes, well, makes a tag match with Becky and Charlotte. I thought she was gonna have Becky and Charlotte face each other. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was. That, that would make that, a little more yeah, sense. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I think there was something. I don't know if it was on so- social media or something else where Paige said she was gonna do something for. Well, I guess Absolution, as they were formerly known. Oh. So I guess that's why the match happened. I guess so. Um, Neither of them had been on TV in a while. No, not a little while. Um, but the. Big thing to come away from that segment was uh, Charlotte's words to Carmella, saying that she's a Carmella's a diva in a woman's world or whatever she said, mm-hmm. which was uh, it was good. It was a nice shot. Yeah, and it's not entirely untrue. No, and then Carmella said she was prettier than them, and then it was like, okay, all right, we, we, we've reached that point. Yep. Don't go any further. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but yeah, still think Carmella's walking out with that title. You do? Yep. Um, it's not out of the realm of possibility. It's just not a wise decision. Oh, no. But we'll discuss that in our uh, preview and predictions video. All right. Um, I I still don't know why the bar lost to the New Day a couple weeks ago. Oh, I know why. Was it two weeks ago or was that last week? It was last week. Last week. You can't have a pay-per-view without the New Day. No, I I realize that unless they're really pushing the whole new day thing again with them with them racking up more title victories or something like that Maybe. for some unforeseen reason. But I think the essence is that the bar aren't going to be on the pay per view. The Usos aren't going to be on the pay per view. Um, what was the other Good team? Brothers. <laughs> oh yeah, um, the club aren't going to be on the pay per view. So, obviously, whoever wasn't facing them... Oh, no, it was Sanity. <clears throat> no, the Good Sanity. Brothers were in the thing. Sanity hasn't been on TV. This week was the first week in a while they've been on TV. Oh, I could have sworn they were part Mm-mm. of... Oh, okay. I think their last match is with the New Day after Extreme Rules. But, yeah, all, none of them are going to be on the pay-per-view, so that obviously made it so 
that's the case. I, I guess. I mean, we could have. They could have just been the hosts or something like that. They could have, but I think they kind of went to that well a little too much. But could have just had a pancake eating contest. That would have been fine. Done that as well. Now, I I know, but I don't know. I just. I would have enjoyed seeing the bar versus the it Bludgeon It would have been Brothers. a better match. Absolutely. Or at least a more compelling match. Yeah, because the Bludgeon Brothers were already in a feud with the New Day and the Usos. They already did their thing. Mm -hmm. What was that, a Mania, right? Uh, or was that post-Mania? It was Money in the Bank? I think it was Money in the Bank that they faced them. Did the Bludgeon Brothers win the title at WrestleMania? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you didn't think that they were gonna win it, me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because it was the triple threat match. Yep. Mm -hmm. Makes sense now. So then it was. That's when it was. Mm -hmm. eh. I don't know. I don't know. Because I mean, they're not doing anything with the Bludgeon Brothers. Like there is, they haven't even done anything between the two teams to build for a match. No, the Bludgeon Brothers keep on doing squash matches yeah, for some which, reason. What is that? Just so we put them on TV. I guess. <clears throat> so, like, oh, yeah, we got these guys, too. They got but, shiny stuff. Again, they're going to be the same way that, I guess, the Authors of Pain are treated now, is once you take the titles off them, they're useless. They're useless. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They're a one-dimensional team. I mean, Luke Harper is obviously not a one-dimensional wrestler. No, no, no. He's, he's as we've been saying forever, mm -hmm. he's been being held back by the Wyatt family thing. Right. And now this is just a new version of the Wyatt yeah. family thing. Be because they just don't know what to do. No. It's like, uh, well, he's a big guy. He looks And he looks used to wrestle it. with this other big guy. So maybe they should just wrestle together. And <laughs> Brilliant. That's, that's, Here, shake my hand. That's that's pretty much it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about Randy Orton. Okay. All right. Well, we're not there yet. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. We're just going to talk about it because it is an issue that is gaining traction. Uh huh. I mean, it did get picked up by Fox News. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, but l let's be honest with this whole situation. There's not a surprise that Randy Orton did this. No, I'm not even saying that. But I'm just thinking, how many times do you think you've shook hands with people? And they probably haven't washed their hands after going to the bathroom mm -hmm. and things like that. I think that's one of the probably biggest ways to spreading germs and stuff like that. I think the big thing here is more of the fact that it's being done blatantly in your face. I guess it's true. But, I mean, I... <sighs> anyway. <Yeah. laughs> so, if you haven't heard... Yeah, uh, Randy Orton likes to whip his willy out to uh, new writers and then make him shake his hand. After touching it. Yeah. To, to be clear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then he claims that he, you're big leading him if, if you, you don't, don't shake his hand. <laughs> Just really funny when you think about it. Yeah. I know it's messed up, but it's it's pretty clever for a messed up thing. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's just I don't know, if you, I guess you're trying to get the stigma away from wrestling, like like it's just like like a lot of people say it's carny shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you and know, when you hear something that. about this, it's like, oh, that's wrestling. That's yeah. expected. Mm -hmm. It's lowbrow, you know. Even more so, it's Randy Orton. Oh, that's true. Because yeah. mm -hmm. he's kind of been known to be a dick. That's what we've heard. So, there you go. Um, <laughs> and I guess we'll talk about it as well. The fact that he actually showed up on TV amidst all this is a little surprising. Yeah, because I guess WWE said they were going to look they into it. They said they were going to look into it, yes, yeah. which doesn't mean anything. Um, but no. generally speaking, you would think if someone's got this kind of bad heat right. on them for real, like you just keep them off TV. Obviously, he didn't go out and wrestle or anything. And he di technically didn't even show up for the live crowd unless they like panned the camera to him. I don't know how I was but sleeping. We have no way. <laughs> we have no way of knowing. So anyway, whatever. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. We had thought that he was going to be part of a triple threat match for the U.S. title. Yeah. Obviously, that's not going to I mean, happen. That might have been the original plan. Who yeah. knows? So if that was the plan, it's not the plan now. So that could be, but whatever. Yeah. So that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I said, the SmackDown, nothing really happened. Like yeah. you said, it was just a hype show for SummerSlam. Yeah, the New Day beat Sanity. I don't think we said that. I think we just said that. We, we don't did know not. Why. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, Killian Dean is wearing a 
a single women's match. bathing suit now. Yeah. Him and Billy Kay mixed tag match her NXT attire. It, it's pretty close, kind of like Rusev and Lana when they were <laughs> yes. uh, in the yeah, mixed they, match challenge. That's right. Um, but it was just pretty funny that, I guess, a couple weeks ago I mentioned it that somebody said, Oh, what is? Th- are they making you wear a shirt on TV? And Killian was like, "No, it was per- preferential or my own choice." And mm. then now he's wearing a singlet. Yep. Yeah. Some things never change. Mm-hmm. But uh, we got Almas taken on Aiden English, where uh, Almas wins, obviously. Oh yeah. Uh, after the match, Rusev and Lana come out and say they're going to crush them because they have a mixed tag, ma- mm-hmm. tag match. Aiden English sold those double knees like pretty good yeah he his looked, whole head just like yeah went back mm-hmm. maybe he got a little more than the knees i wouldn't be face. surprised you know how fast he's going yeah um and uh then jeff hardy versus shelton benjamin uh jeff obviously wins because you know why is shelton benjamin even on tv hey, it was the first time in a while it's funny because they said jeff hardy returns to action mm-hmm. for the first time in a while <laughs> <laughs> and he faces someone who hasn't been on TV in months. Yeah. So. And the funny thing is, his last match was probably against Jeff Hardy, or was it? I wouldn't be surprised. I thought. But yeah, like right when he came over, mm-hmm. and he wanted to. Yeah, for the U.S. title. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, that was the last time it. he was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but whatever. Um, and then the main event was AJ coming out saying that he wants to win for his family. And then Joe comes out and reads a letter from someone in the WWE universe mm-hmm. and uh, and then says that uh, they, they want Joe to take away the one thing that AJ cares, cares about most in this world, which is the WWE title. And mm-hmm. turns out that it was signed AJ's wife, Emily St- no, Wendy. W- Wendy Styles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it wasn't bad. I, I kind of like the way that it ended because it just looked like AJ was pissed and they didn't do anything else. No, that was it. Was built to be the yeah. next step would be them getting in the ring with Which each is other. Which, good because yeah. that's the way to do it. Yeah. It really is. Mm-hmm. I think this match happened twelve times on TV and TNA. Really, it's mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. So, yep. I guess so. they didn't really care too much about building. Well, I mean, again, it's it's it was like the whole Shinsuke AJ thing where it wasn't, you know. It was just not necessarily a dream match like they had advertised that one, but it was mm-hmm. a big match that was never seen in the WWE before. So yeah, that's really when they see something like that, it's like, oh, yep, that's what we're going with. I guess that's it's just, true. It's just right minimal, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Just like the uh, Miz and Daniel Bryan stuff. Yeah, well, very yeah, they, minimal. Their only interactions were off of like talking segments. Mm-hmm. So I guess that yep. makes sense. Yep, yep. All right, I guess. Uh, that's probably all we have, right? I think Not so. Not much else to talk about. I yeah, mean, no. not exactly a big week. No, not much at all. And uh, we will be away next week, mm-hmm. right? Because you got to work at night, and then we're going to that fancy place called New Jersey for a wedding. Yeah, that's that son of a bitch. Yep. Oh well. Yep, 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 yep. Well, all right. That is it. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.